This is Trey Young on Will Barton. Oh. Nutmeg! What's going on, everybody? If you guys have been following the 2019-2020 NBA season, you know that something very special has occurred. Guys, this next generation of players are taking basketball moves to the next level. There are so many new moves added into the dictionary every day, which means we had to bring back the series NBA signature moves to let you guys know what's happening. And part of this video is gonna be shot on the Insta360 Go camera. This is the smallest, most stabilized camera in the entire world. And we're gonna be wearing it to give you guys some in-game footage and just to give you guys some different angles and point of views. NBA, NBA signature, signature moves 2020, 2020. let's go. First move we've got to talk about is from Luka Doncic, Woo. the young wizard. He does a reverse dribble between his legs as a fake behind the back pass just to make Austin Rivers slow down half a second so that he could get him off his back. And then he just had to get a little bit of space on the big guy to hit a jumper and it turned into a bucket. By the way, we are going to be turning on our Insta360 goes by just simply tapping right there in the bottom. Boom. All right, Luka, come on. Just, oh, whoa. Oh. Wow. Luca! Yeah, you know, I, I do it, but you know, not, no big not, deal. Not, no not too big. big, deal. Not too big. <laughs> so, Austin Rivers trailing. Oh my god! Oh! Hey, I don't know. We won't know how effective this move is until we get to try it in game. But for now, you guys know, that's Luka Doncic's reverse between the legs. Woo. All right, David, the number two move that I've seen this guy pull multiple times in the past 30 games is Trey Young nutmegging people into a bucket. He started in preseason this year, he got JJ Redick. And then this year alone, he got Will Barton and Ricky Rubio. This is Trey Young on Will Barton. Nutmeg! The stars have to align in terms of the circumstances for you to successfully pull this off. Oh. Into a bucket? Oh. Into a bucket? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just been doing this at every level and people have been down me, but you know, it's Trey Young. I feel like I'm most deserving. Uh, I mean, um, we'll see what the voters and I bought him. All right, David, what I really like about what Trey Young did to Ricky Rubio that was cool was he throws it in between Rubio's legs super fast and it actually bounces twice, but then he picks it up last second and does a floater for the and one. Number three, we've got Ja Morant's behind the back gathering. All right, so this move was dope because Ja Morant actually does the gather, but instead of gathering it back into his left, he just goes straight into a finger roll shot. This looks crazy. Kind of like that. Yeah, for me, I gotta, I gotta wrap it the other way. I'm not gonna lie, I can't. Feels cool. That does it for the guys that are pretty much still college age, 22, 21, 20. We have to move on to the older, more established Grand Wizards, AKA Kyrie Irving and James Harden. All right, so the next move that we're gonna be talking about is James Harden's off leg running three point shot. This is basically where he does like some form of a crossover or a pickup and then he runs to his off leg side shoots off his off leg and makes it. What move you gonna do? What move you gonna do? What? What? What move you gonna do? What move you gonna do? What? What? What is this, the uh, Black Ops run over at the Sky Apartments in New York City? Andrew, this next move, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not an NBA trainer, I don't have the vocabulary to fully accurately describe everything the floating behind the back crossover gather. As he drops it, he's floating, and then he pulls it back while he's going to the right. So this can shake you because you don't know which way I'm going, theoretically. All right, so Harden oftentimes would do this when he's matched up on someone, he's kind of dribbling, he's like... Oh! 
That's my lefty shot. <laughs> Let me try this. Harden likes to walk down the court standing straight up and then lower himself to get into attack mode with the bait dribbles. Ha! Ha! Just like Harden. You guys, we cannot talk about signature moves without Kyrie Irving. David, you said the other day, and I quote you, that Kyrie Irving is the most artistic player in the NBA. Andrew, did you see how bad he froze up Valanchunas on this toe drag hezzy. Yeah, so this is called a hand shadow hezzy. He put his eyes up, he put his chest up, he even paused for a second, and then he put his right hand over the ball without touching it to make it look like he was about to pick it up and then shoot it for the floater, but instead he just pauses, lets it drop, Valanchunas, he pops up, and then Kyrie blows past. I'm gonna block your shot. Oh, shoot. Ooh. I'm gonna block your shot. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Andrew, it felt cool just to imitate it in a fake setup situation. Hold up. To truly do this move like Kyrie, I have to become Kyrie. It is currently outlawed in the NBA, but just as the Jordan 1 breads were outlawed at first two, the ninja headband. I, I think the ninja headband is gonna be back eventually. Hey, David. Can I borrow your camera? So this is the cool thing about Insta360 Go. You can just switch cameras, put them on different headbands, hats, anything you want. And Andrew got the Drew Holiday version. Earth is flat, Earth is flat. All right, guys, so before we show you some in-game footage of us trying to do these moves, we got to tell you about Insta360 Go, the smallest, most stabilized camera in the entire world. All right, so how the Go operates, it's pretty easy since there's no other buttons. It's just a matter of tapping the camera. Since the button is technically on the back, you just need to add a little pressure on the front and you're ready to go. So the quick capture, number one, you just tap it once when the camera is off and that's gonna start a 15 or 30 or 60 second clip and this is up to your own customization. So another cool thing about this is that it really allows you to get creative with your shots. So with all the mounting accessories, you can actually mount stuff on the window, you can mount it on backboards, you can put it on a clip, so that you could wear it on your hat, so that you basically have a POV from your head. There's all different types of ways. This camera is so small and so light, you can literally put it anywhere. Out of all the mounting options, definitely the most popular is the magnetic pendant that goes on your chest. This is really cool because I've never seen anything like this. You're gonna put a magnet underneath your shirt and then you're just gonna stick the camera on the front and it's not gonna fall off because it has such a strong magnetic pull. This is way better than camera straps before that were kind of like bulky and kind of like restricted your motion. This one is almost unnoticeable. For a lot of sports, in particular basketball, I definitely recommend using the easy clip, the one that goes on your hat or headband because that's gonna be the most stable. So the other cool thing is the double tap and this happens when the camera is also on standby. All you need to do is tap it twice and it's gonna do a hyperlapse. So this means if you're walking throughout your day or if you're driving or you're on a scooter or something, this is where you're gonna wanna use this because it's super stable. And the best thing about this camera is what you're doing with the footage afterwards. The first step is to grab your footage, just go put the Go into your charging case and then you connect it to your phone. The Go app's AI powered flash cut features lets you turn your shots into stylized on beat edits with just a couple of taps, AKA they are going to edit it for you. So from content selection to timing and shot transitions, the Go app can take care of as much as or little of the edit as you like. So you can actually go into every single individual clip not only trim it and use just the few seconds that you want, but you can actually reframe it because it's a 180 camera and there's actually little different angles within the footage. I just edited a video right here. Look, this is a highlight film. Me, boom, James Harden, okay, John Moran, boom. Oh, those are my makes. I'm not gonna show you the misses though. All right, we're about to play some real competition, so let's go see what it looks like on the Insta360 Go Cam.
guys, we just tried the Insta360 go outdoors. Now it's time to try it out at the gym. We're gonna try our NBA signature moves on real competition. Let's go. My bad. Hit that. Hey, it goes to show you, you cannot just watch the move and then execute the move. You can even kind of make it look like the move, Andrew, but you cannot make the shot. No, and also, it's not gonna like, you can do the move in the open court, but it doesn't do anything. So for the move to actually be effective, man, you gotta practice a lot. You gotta be really good basketball, man. And you kinda gotta have the right timing too, though, right? They gotta be bodying you, <laughs> leading one way. Body As you can see, we forced the moves. We kinda got them done, but they didn't do anything. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of NBA Signature Moves, The Next Generation. <laughs> And huge shout out to Insta360 Go for making this video possible. I know the moves didn't look exactly like how the NBA players are doing it, but hopefully you guys took something away from it, and hopefully you guys understand those moves a lot better. Because let me tell you something, there are amazing things happening this season. As a basketball fan, yeah. it is just really fun to see the way the game's evolving, and I encourage you guys to keep up with the way, not just like the highlights, and not just the stats, and not just 2K or NBA Live, but literally follow the game, because this is an evolving art form, and it is truly like, without getting too sentimental, Andrew, a pleasure to watch these young guys take this art form to the next level. Just when I thought I had seen all the NBA moves, there's new ones, man, and there's new ways of doing them. And there's new ways to even record yourself having fun playing basketball, even though you're not in the NBA. The Insta360 Go camera is available at Apple stores nationwide on December 10th. So you guys definitely go check it out. Um, you guys can probably demo it there too. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. That wraps up NBA Signature Moves Volume 13. We've done 13 of them. Uh -huh. 2020, the next generation. We didn't always have the right name for all these moves, some of the names we made up. So you guys in the comments below, let us know what the actual names are of these moves or you guys can rename them too. Maybe some NBA trainers are watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Keep up with the NBA. And until next time, we out. Peace. I mean, he lo he's looking like a legend. Are you, is that a Larry Bird comparison? I think Luka Doncic in the modern NBA is better than Larry Bird. Crazy hot tag! <laughs>